is Danica and I'm the Fit Mom Lifestyle on Instagram, Like to Know It and TikTok. And today we're back with another Lululemon haul. So I've been loving all the fun colors that they've been coming out with for summer. As you can tell, I'm wearing the Creamy Mint. I've got Charged Indigo. I've got some Sonic Pink Strawberry Milkshake and what's this blue one? Poolside. So we've got some really fun colors coming up. If you want to see what I grabbed for the summer, then just keep watching. Okay, so as usual, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you're notified every time I come out with a new video. And give this video a thumbs up if you love Lululemon hauls as much as I do because I know, I know we all do here. It's such a guilty pleasure. But anyway, the first thing that I want to share is this cute set. Now I have some thoughts on all this, so we'll get into it. But the first thing is the All The Right Places High Rise Crop 23 inch. So they brought these back. These are in charged indigo. And then with that, I got the matching um, energy bra in a size 10 in charged indigo as well. So here's the matching bra. So I did try them on as a set, so you can see that better in the try on. Let's quickly talk about the bra because this one is like a tried and true for me. I love this bra, nothing much to say other than it's great for high intensity, great. I, I love to wear these for CrossFit, running, F45, Orange Theory, all the things. Um, I've said this before, my favorite is the high neck version, but they don't really make that one anymore. So I will settle for the regular version. I do really like it. Um, and this one is made with Luxstream and it is made for a B to C cup, which is, I'm a C cup and it does have the removable cup pad. So really comfy. I do like the straps. I think it looks really cute under a lot of tops, but yet it's still like holds you in place. You know, some of the strappy bras are like pretty but not super functional this one is very very functional which i really like and appreciate so the next thing is the all the right places crop now they used to have this and they had it when i was like getting into lululemon but i really wasn't super interested so i never picked up the old version but okay i have a lot of thoughts on this so first of all the 23 inch on me flares at the bottom. So you can probably see it in the try on. I don't like where it hits. I think a 25 inch would be better for me, honestly. Um, I also think that Luxream is just not my favorite workout material. I definitely have some Luxream leggings and I definitely still wear them. But if I had to pick, I really like Everlux. I love Wonder Trains and Invigorates. And I also really love New Lux. I really like the base pace. So I think just because of those fabrics, like the New Lux is very lightweight but still sweat wicking. Everlux is the fastest drying fabric and very durable. Those two are my go-to fabrics. Luxstream, like I said, is still fine, but I actually like wearing the Luxstream um, in like the work pants and stuff, like the on the fly pants used to be made with Luxstream. So I just don't love these for like workout pants um, in this material personally. So like I said, the one of the cons is the way it hits my ankle. One of the pros is that there's no seam, which is super great. I've talked about this before. It's no secret on this channel. I've said that I have a hard time sometimes with camel toe because my um, torso is long. I think like like where my belly button is on my stomach is kind of high. And so if I try and pull something up to cover my belly button, it's like I'm going to pull it up too high. You know what I mean? So I do like that this is has no seam. Like I don't know why they can't do that more because it's great and I do love how it's angled I think that's very pretty and flattering in the front now I don't love the seaming in the back personally this is not my favorite the way it like scoops down so that's definitely a con for me there I also think like the waistband is a little tight so I got these in my true size six but I honestly think an eight would be better um it does have a pocket here which is nice, but it does add some bulk. So just be aware of that. And this one does have pockets, which are really great. I'm really appreciating the pockets lately with my son and stuff. It seems like I always have like too many things to carry. So I do like the pockets, but, um, oh, and I just have a draw cord here. But all that being said, I have actually decided these are going back. They're not my favorite, um, unfortunately. I just think one, they're too tight. I think I would need a size eight. Two, I don't like the length. I would want a 25. And like the seaming and stuff just isn't my favorite. So for those reasons, I'm gonna be sending these back. I just, 
it's not worth it for me um but what i did do which you will see in a coming haul because i still want to have a set i got the wonder train shorts in the charge indigo so i'll have the wonder train short shorts and charge indigo to go with this energy bra which will make a really really cute set when I do sets like that, I like to wear the All Yours tank over, so it's got like the long um, like sleeve holes, so you can see the bra peeking through, and I think that's really cute. So these are going back, unfortunately. I wanted to try them out for you. I wanted to give you the pros and cons. If those things don't bother you, or if you're shorter, or whatever, it might be useful. I also did want to mention that it does have this reflective lining at the bottom, so if you like flipped them up or whatever, you would have reflective lining, which is great. So lots of great features, just not my personal favorite and I have things that I like more so that's kind of where we are with that okay so the next item I want to talk about is the Lululemon why do I always say Lululemon the Align high neck tank this is in the size 10 in sonic pink I love this I mean look at the colors that I'm getting you guys like look at this this is so like fun I love it so I really like the high neck Align tank. I wear a 10 or a 12 in the regular Align tank and a 10 in the high neck. I think it's very flattering. I love obviously the cut here, how high it is, and I love that it still scoops in the back. So I think these are really cute. I wear them casually around the house or just like, you know, in the summer with biker shorts, inner glow shorts. Um, the groove pants they look really cute with groove pants so I really like these I think that they're very practical I've said this before but I like the high neck for a little bit more coverage I'm not sure if the video is up yet but in my belt bag video that I reviewed I was wearing the regular line tank and even in that I feel like I don't know I'm just not used to like wearing very low cut tops anymore or lately and I feel like a little too exposed sometimes so I do like having the high neck version just to be a little more covered and not because I need I don't feel like you need to cover up or whatever I just feel like more secure you know what I mean so anyway I do really like this I think it's really cute I love the sonic pink color there's so many Align tanks high neck Align tanks out right now that I was kind of contemplating waiting to see if it'd go on sale because I feel like they've been putting a lot of them on sale. So if you're thinking about it, I would maybe keep an eye on the sales section on Thursday mornings because I feel like they just have so many out right now that they're going to start marking them down at some point. And if your size is still available, maybe wait and get it on sale because I was even like, uh, do I want to buy it? Do I want to wait? Because I'm sure they'll put it on sale soon. So that is the Align Tank. And then I have... I have two shorts but before I get into shorts I want to share this accessory I love this you guys know if you're not new to my channel it's the cardio cross trainer headband I love these for my workouts I usually wear this or the get in line headband which isn't on the website right now I don't know why but they came out with this in white I have the get in line headband in white and so when I saw this one in white I wanted this one as well because I wear white a lot and it's like really cute when you match it with like I mean probably wouldn't match it with that but like the charged indigo set and like I said a white all yours um tank would be really cute so um it does have the reflective detail here sometimes I wear this with the logo like right here in the center of my head and sometimes I like flip it around there's a seam at the back but you can't tell so like if I don't want the logo showing I just flip it and it does have like these little does it say velcro I mean not velcro velvet um I think it is yeah velvet little like arrows to hold it in place so that it doesn't slip around I don't find that these slip around at all if my hair is really clean like I've just washed it and did like a hair mask or something sometimes if I'm running it'll start to slide a little but that's like day one because my hair is so like soft so after day one it doesn't slip around and I just think these are really cute they are they do have the anti-sting technology so I do wash them I'll probably wear them like throughout the week I wear them maybe two three times and then I wash them like every week I just wash all my headbands together so really love these great one to find um like if you need a headband I think you, those are really great really great gift if you want to give someone something small from Lululemon I also do think it's great to wait for those to go on sale they're $14 full price which I think is still good for Lululemon but they do go on sale for nine dollars and I wear them all the time like I literally wear them I rotate all my headbands and wear them each a couple times a week so I really really like that one okay last we have two shorts 
This first one is the Wonder Train Short 6 inch in poolside. This is in a size 6 and this is the new fit which has the wider leg opening. So it is the improved fit. So um, I recently learned from an educator that if you just read the tag, I went into st the store and I was like, how do I know which one is the, you know, has the bigger leg hole or whatever and it's right here. It says like improved fit. So I don't know if you guys can see that. But um, so this one does have the wider leg and you can just tell it's like it just doesn't it's not as constricting. It also has the logo here. So that's like a, an easy way to tell that this is like the newer one. So it's a little stretchier and the logo is down here instead of like at the back center. So it's down on the what left left um, hamstring. So I really like this color. I think this is really fun. I've talked about this before and I don't know, I just don't know if it's my size, my body shape is changing or my preferences are changing, but I have a ton of Wonder Train shorts in 6 inch and I wear them all the time. I actually just wore a pair to the gym today, but I did recently get a pair in a size 8 and they were like just like they stayed up just fine but they were a little bit more comfortable because they were a little bit stretchier I would say I'm a true size 6 in shorts but if I want a little more like room and also I've said this before too like sometimes it cuts in a little so like my skin hangs over a little which you could probably see in the try on for these um but the size 6 does fit I just think if I wanted a looser fit, um, I might get the size 8. So I'm contemplating sizing up to an 8 in these just to have a, like a little bit more of a roomy fit. I don't know. I've kind of gone back and forth. It's so hard because I kind of feel like I'm in between sizes. Like the size 6 fits, but like some days I'm just bloated or I just want something stretchier. And I'm like, oh, I wish I had an 8, you know. So it's almost like varies based on the day. So it's kind of hard to say. But I don't know. I'm contemplating grabbing those in one size up even even though like six is what I get in like aligns and basically everything else. Now this next short I did size up intentionally and I can tell that these ones are a lot roomier but they're super comfy. So these are the Hottie Hot High Rise Short 4 inch in Strawberry Milkshake and I did get these in a size 8. I actually saw these at my store when I was returning. That is like always what happens. I always see something when I'm returning and I'm like that looks so cute and I end up buying something else. So anyway, I really like these. I think they are cute. Hottie Hot is not... I don't know why that door just slammed. Um, Hottie Hot is not my favorite style, but I do think that these ones are really cute. I also was debating between the Pace Rival... Or not Pace Rival. What is the name of those shorts? Why do I always forget? Hold on. I need to look this up. I cannot... Oh, Find Your Pace. It just came to me. So I was debating between keeping the find your pace shorts in strawberry milkshake and then I saw the hottie hot high rise in strawberry milkshake and like I said hottie hots are not like my usual go-to I actually prefer the speed ups like my two favorite workout shorts are the speed up high rise either 2.5 inch or 4 inch and the wonder trains I haven't bought a lot of the speed ups because I have so many I have so many wonder trains too but regardless um but the hottie hots are like a cute casual short like I think they look really cute with like an all yours tee and all, or an all yours tank I don't really like to wear them as much for working out because I feel like they bunch like when I walk or run they kind of like ride up a little and I don't know why but they do on me so I just like these more for like casual wear in the summer if I want more of like a workout type of short and again the find your pace shorts I feel like were too flowy and just like I felt kind of like exposed in them so if I really wanted the strawberry milkshake color I personally feel like this is a better option for me and like I said the only reason I don't work out in them is just because I feel like they start bunching weird but I do still like them like I don't have a problem with the hottie hots they're just like not my go-to's the speed ups like if I'm looking for a looser short the speed ups for whatever reason fit my body better so um, I'm sure you all know the hottie hots but they have the liner on the inside they do have a little zippered pocket on the left also one thing I want to share and I'm sure a lot of you know this but I'm going to share it anyway and hopefully this is true for this pair because it would be funny if it weren't um and maybe it isn't but so most of the Lululemon shorts not all of them but most of them have a little okay here it is 
have a little dot so usually they have like a left a pocket like an interior pocket or whatever and it has your size it's like a size dot on the inside so some of you probably know this but like for me right now because I'm going between like a six and an eight sometimes I'm like shoot was that a six or was that an eight well so in the hottie hot so you've got the short here right and then on the inside there's this tiny little pocket here and if you flip the pocket inside out it's got this little white dot that says size eight. So if you're ever wondering, like if you rip off the tag and you're ever wondering what size it was, you can look at the shorts, like at the interior pocket. So I wish the tops had that too, but they don't. So like, let's check the poolside one. So if you look um, in the Wonder Trains, there's a little pocket here on the inside. And yep, so you flip it out. And here is the size six super helpful to see that there and then let's see on the all yours or all the right places I mean um, so it's only like these interior pockets and it's only on bottoms it's not on tops oh so this one is in the pocket at the back so you see where this pocket was on the back of this one and it's got the little size dot here so comment down below if you knew about the size dot I feel like that's really helpful especially like right now when I'm going between sizes to be to to be able to see like oh shoot was that a six or was that an eight because I really like how it's fitting so hopefully that information was helpful for you I wish they had it on the tops as well because I always rip off the tags I'm sure you guys know these tags are like rippable so you can just pull them right off and um then you lose the size information obviously so anyway I hope that little tip was helpful for you all right, so that is it for today's Lululemon haul. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and comment down below what your favorite piece was or favorite color because there were some really fun colors in this haul and a little bit different than my normal haul. I didn't really have any neutral colors other than my white headband. So let me know down below what your favorite item and color was. And thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.